Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to the Peak Flix YouTube channel. My name is Miss Luria, and I'm so excited to join you on this beautiful sunny day. Last time we met, we talked a lot about, I'm so glad you remembered, subtraction with regrouping or unbundling, and we used really big numbers. Today, we are up to lesson 12, and the numbers are going to get really really big. So we're going to practice adding with regrouping, but into the hundreds place on our hundreds chart. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Did you know, boys and girls, that when we think of the hundreds place on our place value chart, well, 100 can be thought of as a bundle of 10 tens. Wait a minute. So if 10 tens is the same as one 100, oh my gosh, what does that remind you of? You're right. It reminds me that 10 ones is the same as one 10. So 10 tens is the same as one 100. That's so crazy. Did you notice that pattern? I'm so glad that you did. So for today, for this lesson, you're going to need, as always, your notebook and a pencil or a dry erase board and a marker. And of course, your place value chart and your base 10 blocks, including the hundreds. You're right. So we're going to need all the flats that you have. So please pause this video, gather up all of these materials, and I'll see you in a snap. Okay, friends, now that I have all of my materials, check this out. I've got all my flats, I've got all my rods, and I've got all of my ones. So now that we have all of our materials together, do you remember what we talked about just a few moments ago? In order to make 100, I need 10 tens. So let's see if we can't practice that right now. Okay, let's see. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is a lot of tens. Check that out. It looks about the same size as this one flat right here. So 100 is the same as 10 tens. If I ever get confused, guess what? We can also practice counting by tens, like this. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Does that make sense? So we know that 10 tens is the same as one 100 because when I count by tens, I always stop at the last one, which is 100. So these are the same. I'm going to clear my board. Okay. So when we add really big numbers, what do you think would happen if we only have two digits to work with? For example, 59 plus 42. Well, these numbers have a ones place and a tens place, but there's no hundreds place yet. So what would happen if these two numbers, when I add them together, what if they make something in the hundreds place? What would I do? Well, if that's the case, then I would create my very own hundreds place. But what does that mean? Let's start by building the number 59 and see what happens when we add these really big numbers together. Okay, so I'm gonna start with five tens, one, two, three, four, five, and nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Awesome. Okay, so the first thing I need to do from here is to also build the number 42. Why? Because those are the numbers that I'm going to be adding together. So I'm going to put my two ones down here and my four tens over here. There we go. Okay. 
So I have the number 59 and the number 42. So let's count up how many base 10 blocks I have in each place. So I'm going to start here in the ones place and we're going to see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hmm. So I have 11 ones in the ones place. That means that I need to regroup and carry over to the tens place. So let's bundle 10 ones together and move them over to the tens place, just like we've practiced. Okay, but now how many tens do I have in the tens place? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh man, there are ten tens in the tens place. So that means I have to bundle those and carry them over to the hundreds place because remember, ten tens is the same as one. 100. You are correct. So let's bundle these all together and move them over here to my hundreds place. Hmm. So what does this whole mess mean? It means that I have 100 in the hundreds place. I have no more tens in the tens place because I carried them over. And I have one one in the ones place. Okay, let's see what that would look like here on my whiteboard. So we know because we just counted that 9 plus 2 equals 11 and we had to carry over. Okay, 1 plus 5 equals 6 and 6 plus 4 equals 10. So 59 plus 42 equals 101 just like we did here. I'm going to take these out of the way. So we can have a better visual. So check that out. 100, no tens, and one one. Does that make sense? We're gonna do a couple more together, my friends. So I'm gonna take all of these materials, put them to the side. I'm gonna clean off my board. I'm gonna clean off this board. And let's do another one together. Here we go. Okay, let's try the number 88 plus 47. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is start by building the number 88 on my place value chart. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Okay, so here I have my eight tens. Now I need my eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Now I need to build the number 47. One, two. Uh oh. So, boys and girls, I'm pretty sure some of you at home probably are realizing right now that we don't have enough base 10 blocks to make this number magic happen. But guess what, that's okay. Even though we're not together in school where your teacher could give you more materials, we're very clever here at home. So just because I'm out of base 10 blocks doesn't mean that the math stops. That means that I come up with another solution. So since I am out of 10, of 10 rods to make 40, I'm just gonna use my marker because this is erasable. And I'm gonna add those last two tens here myself. So 10, 20, here's 30, 40. See, sometimes even if we don't have enough materials, we find other ways to keep the learning happening. So just like you at home, Miss Lurie is out of the base 10 blocks and check it out. I just modified it. So I still made the number 40. It just looks a little different and that's okay. They're still the same thing. Let's make sure we have our seven ones. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so now that I made the number 88 and the number 47, I'm gonna count how many ones I have in my ones place and then see if I can't regroup somewhere. Here we go. One, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I have 15 ones in my ones place. And you know what that means. That means I can regroup. So here we go. Here's eight, nine, 10, there we go. I grouped all of my ones together and we're gonna move them over here to the ones place. Oh my goodness, do you hear me? I grouped all of my ones and moved them over to the tens place. Took me 10 ones, tens place. Goodness, Miss Loria, get it together, lady. Okay. Well, it looks like I have a whole mess of tens in the tens place. I bet you we can probably regroup some of these. So let's count to see how many tens we have in the tens place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh man, I can definitely regroup. So I'm gonna draw a circle around 10 tens and carry them over to the hundreds place. All right, so how many hundreds do I have in my hundreds place now? I have 100 in my hundreds place. I have three tens in my tens place. No, nope, I'm actually gonna write them down here in these boxes. 100, three tens, and one, two, three, four, five ones. Perfect. So what would this look like if I were to add some numbers together. Okay, so we know from our mental math lessons that eight plus seven equals 15. And I carried over, I regrouped my ones and I carried them over because I was able to make one extra 10. And one plus eight equals nine and nine plus four equals 13. Three tens and 100. Does that make sense boys and girls? I figured it would. You guys are super, super smart. You are awesome mathematicians. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do one together. So I'm gonna clear off my board, get your materials together. We're gonna do one together. Here we go. Okay. Get one on Great. Okay, let's write this on our whiteboards. Let's do 77 plus 53, because why not? Okay, first thing I need to do is build the number 77 on my place value chart. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now I need my seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Awesome. Now we're going to build the number 53. So we need five tens. Here's one, two, three, four, five, and three ones. One, two, three. Okay, let's count together how many ones are in the ones place. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we know that there are ten ones in the ones place, and ten ones is the same as you're right, 110. So let's bundle them all together and carry them over and make a brand new 10 right here. Here we go. So now how many ones do we have left in the ones place? All right, we have absolutely none. There are no ones in the ones place because we bundled them together. How many tens do we have in the tens place? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have 13 tens in the tens place. And how many tens does it make, do we need to make 100? You're right, we need to group together 10 tens to make one 100. 
So let's make a big circle around 10 tens and let's carry them over to the hundreds place because now we've made 100. So let's get rid of these. Okay, so how many tens do I have left in the tens place? Let's see. One, two, three. There are three tens in the tens place and 100 in the hundreds place. Okay, let's go back to our math problem. So we know from mental math that seven plus three equals 10. We're gonna carry over that extra 10 that we just created. One plus seven equals eight, and eight plus five equals 13. Nice job, boys and girls. Okay, now it's your turn. Woohoo! On the next slide, you are going to see some math equations and you are going to practice this math strategy. Boys and girls, this is an important math strategy for you to use today and every day to become better, stronger mathematicians. So as soon as you see the next slide with the math problems on them, you are going to pause the video and you're going to solve those problems. Okay, ask an adult to check your work when you are done. Good luck.